morning everyone i am dr nishtha and let me ask you one simple question that how many of you have been using netflix or any other ott platform i can vouch on that that many of them might be using netflix how many are using see i can just gauge into it that such a immense audience and the majority of the audience is using netflix and ott platforms uh, and isn't it amazing to see that how it has just revolu uh, revolutionized the entire thing like how netflix already know what we would like to see what would we like to watch even before even we um, need to know it right they actually check it out on the basis of algorithm and data insights so um and just imagine if our education system worked the same way what if the education system worked in the same way with personalized learning if they already know that what exactly is our favorite subject which subject should we focus on what are our strengths what are our weaknesses wouldn't it make education more creative and fun i'm sure it will be right now um i would just like to share one of my experience like when i was a tiny little girl and used to go to school and we were all taught these subjects math science physics chemistry bio all subjects right same teacher used to teach us in the same class with the same pace with the, at the same time right but there is a problem now what is the problem the problem is that if we go and watch one single movie does everyone enjoys that movie no some like drama some like comedy some like fiction some like thriller some like romance right so when it comes to movie and everyone has got a different taste then how can we expect the students to like the same subject and study at the same pace right some of the students might enjoy the traditional method of studies and traditional method of curriculum but not most of them so education should be personalized the learning should be personalized and uh, with my own story like my daughter alaina she's a very bright child very good in maths and science but she struggles with the traditional system of education she gets bored up in monotonous classes and boring lectures of teacher to be honest and i'm sure that most of you would agree on that because we also does right and just imagine if she is good in uh, pro uh, project based learning if she is good in hands on training if she is good in hands of projects and real world application kind of a uh, scenario then if we make education if we customize education if we uh, make the learning more personalized based on their skills based on their interests based on their preferences based on what a student can do best in their lives wouldn't it be so amazing it will be right so this is what i just want you all to imagine and give it a thought that if education system and if learnings can be personalized like netflix and gives you recommendation of your favorite subjects like they give you recommendation of your favorite shows and movies what to watch next would wouldn't it make education system and the learnings more interesting and fun it will right now um when education is evolving with technology it is also advancing with it right we are learning and we are learning new ways of teaching with technology with the advent of ai and um, so many other things right so i'll be just sharing four key driving factors that can help making personalized learning more fun because what is netflix doing right they are using your personalized data insights and then curating content for you curating stories the best of the shows the movies that you would like to listen and the same way we can do with personalized education personalized learning right how the data can be used based on the interest of the students the data can be used the insights can be used in order to check out the pattern of their learning what are their weaknesses and accordingly it can be structured so these are the four uh, important um, key drivers i would say that are must for personalized education adaptive learning platform which can help a platform that can develop the content for the students which can uh, be you know which can be easily um, tweaked easily um, can be changed based on the difficulty level based on the pattern of students learning then we can have ai in education we have been talking about ai and ai is the buzz of the town everyone is talking about ai right and when it comes to education how ai can be used 
we can gauge into students interest we can gauge into insights of the students what are their weaknesses what are their strengths on what all uh, subjects are students engaging more and accordingly we can plan personalized curriculum and personalized syllabus for them then data driven insights obviously when we are talking about ai we are talking about data we are talking about insights and this helps in um, you know developing a holistic curriculum personalized curriculum for the students that can help them um, you know and that can also help educationist to uh, mentor and plan their entire syllabus and curriculum based on that and also micro learning are so so important one of the key drivers why because we are living in the era of instagram where the attention span is hardly for 30 seconds right we are living in the world of reels and the time just sways away we really don't have any idea about it right so if we create some kind of a short content for the students based on their interest of subjects like mini epi episodes that are available on netflix or short mini reels kind of a thing on those educational platform it would really help them and it would also personalize their educational plan now um when uh, we are talking about already the key drivers that are so important to make this personalized education like netflix because netflix already knows that what next you want to watch and which is your favorite movie and which is your favorite show and it automatically cues you to that level and this is how we can also personalize our education now here are top 5 um you know key takeaways that i'll be giving you from today's session and if you are a student if you are a professional or if you are academician or if you are a lifelong learner it is for everyone it is for every one of you that you need to know that how personalized education like netflix can change the world and that is the future that is the future that i am talking about so um see when we are talking about personalized education there are two key aspects to it that why why it is so important to have personalization in education it is so important to uplift these students and to nurture their strengths to understand where are they lacking to keep them engaged because half of the students get bored in the boring lectures and classes right and the traditional methods of learning we are already done with so this will help us in engage uh, in this and also these five key takeaways will help you that why it is so important why it is so important that personalized education is the future of the country because it gives you the power to choose i repeat again it gives you the power to choose because you can choose like you can select which are your favorite subjects it is not forced on you based on the syllabus it is personalized um, syllabus curriculum for each and every individual based on their interests based on their strengths based on their engagement so number 1 learn at your own pace if you develop a curriculum like netflix your personalized learning platform it gives you a pace it gives you to learn or at your own time right how how does that help because in generic classes whenever we are attending the classes and the bell rings and you are done right with a hint of a bell like ding 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 even i was hearing here so once the bell rings the syllabus the class is done now when we are personalizing the syllabus when we are personalizing the learning what is happening the students are learning at their own pace they are learning when they are ready they are learning when they are ready from here so it is really really important for all of us to understand that we need to learn at our own pace and it definitely helps in that second is tailor your strengths and interest you can easily tailor your strength and your interest based on the insights and the data that you get from the analytics and from the ai that you are using right so that you can engage with the audience that much and also the curriculum for the students would be more personalized and of their own interest instant feedback for continuous development it will always give you because in the traditional method of uh, education you always get a laid back feedback right the feedback is generally a uh, very slow and a monotonous process but when in the personalized learning the feedback you are getting instantly like when you watch netflix any of the movies you can just check out from the history that on what all uh, shows or on what all movies were you paying more attention on and how much time did you spend on each of it 
right? Accordingly, the analysis can be made on the basis of your favorite subjects and the choice of your subject and curriculum can be planned. Number fourth is more engagement and less boredom. Yes, so how many of you would agree on that, that, um, you know, we at times feel very disinterested in the class and disengaged in the class. I mean, I would vouch on that because I used to feel very disinterested in my history class. I hope my history teacher is not watching this, but yes, and that is a true reality, right? We all feel at times disinterested in the class. Now, how to keep students, how to keep even lifelong learners engaged in the class? So this is how personalized learning will help you. It will come into picture because it will help you, it will give you engagement rates, it will give you matrices, it will give you data insights based on AI. And accordingly, you can plan the curriculum. Accordingly, you can plan the learning graph of each of the students. Now, lifelong learning is made easy. Now, be it if you are a student, if you are a professional, if you are an academician or anyone, we all are students at the end and learning is a vicious circle it never stops like it happens in Netflix whenever you're watching any of the shows whenever you're watching any of the movies there is always next suggestions what next to watch there is always a queue that is lined up so even if you uh, are done with your schooling even if you are done with your graduation or PG it will always give you suggestions to upskill to binge watching your favorite subjects, to keep reskilling yourself, and then it will give you the power. It will give you the power to stay ahead. And this is why it is so important that we need to personalize education like Netflix. And just imagine a scenario, just imagine some of your favorite subjects, be it any of the subjects, math, science, physics, chemistry, any subjects. And just think of it that if you are given a choice that you can learn that subject at your own time, at your own pace, at the own kind of a methodology and the learning pattern that you wish to do. Wouldn't it make education so much fun and so creative? And you would just love uh, that subject. You will just get glued to it. You will just enjoy learning about it, right? So that is the beauty because it is giving you power to choose. It is giving you power that you can select your favorite subject and then you can go ahead with it. And also when I talk about education, and you are personalizing education, education should always inspire curiosity. You should be always curious to know more about it. It should not be that when you are done with the subject, when you are done with the class, it's done and dusted. No. Education is a vicious circle. It's a never-ending process. So it should always generate curiosity within you. And with personalized learning, it is giving you an environment to adapt, to tailor your curriculum, and you can also engage in the subject, get glued into it. Now, I will leave all of you with one thought. The thought is that embrace education, that it is not one size fit for all. Not at all. It is not one size fit for all. It is different for each and every individual. I might like maths. You might hate it. Some might like science others might hate it. So it is a personal journey and we need to embrace it. And it is not one size fit for all. So let's make personalized education like Netflix recommendation, your own curated learning journey and education should be fun, should be creative and should be a vicious circle. Thank you so much. <laughs>